And in our top business story, the UAE plans to attract over 70 billion US dollars in industrial investments by 2025, according to the country's Minister of Economy. The investment will increase the industrial sector's share to the GDP to 25%, up from the current 16% by 2025, according to His Excellency Sultan bin Saeed al Mansouri, who stated that the investment boost is aimed to make the industrial sector a driving force in the country's economic growth. According to a report released by Emirates news agency WAM, the slump in global oil prices has not had any significant impact on the UAE's development as the share of non-oil sectors in the economy stood at 69% of GDP. In October this year, the cabinet approved a 248 billion dirhams federal budget for the next five years with a prime focus on education, social development and health. The budget for 2017 was set at 48.7 billion dirhams. The minister said Abu Dhabi was planning to launch its own industrial strategy later this year, emphasizing that the government recognizes available opportunities in the industrial sector and is determined to invest in the future of industries. Dubai launched the 2030 Dubai Industrial Strategy in June this year, aiming to evolve into a global platform for knowledge-based, sustainable and innovation-focused businesses. The UAE government is also drafting important legislations, including laws regarding foreign investments, to make investment in the industrial sector even more attractive. The UAE central bank governor said on Monday that he, expe or he expected economic growth to edge up to about 2.4% next year from an estimated 2.2% this year, helped by oil prices at higher levels. His Excellency Mubarak al Mansouri told reporters on the sidelines of a UAE Banks Federation conference in Abu Dhabi that next year's lending growth would probably be in line with 2016 and that credit growth has been about 6% this year on average. The governor said that stability in the price of oil had boosted confidence and led to increased spending by companies, although that rate of loan, the rate of loan growth is still below 9 to 10 percent level it was before the oil price crash in the summer of 2014. His Excellency Al Mansouri said that the government's moves to reduce expenses and increase revenues from non-oil uh, sources was aiding the overall economic health of the country. Since the price of oil began its sharp uh, descent in 2014, governments in the region, such as Abu Dhabi, have reduced energy subsidies and cut spending and raised debt in international markets to prevent deficits from spiraling out of control. The IMF, which last month hailed the Arabian Gulf's efforts to plug budget deficits in projecting the UAE's economy to grow at 2.3% this year and 2.5% next year, broadly in, in line with the central bank's estimates. The UAE has once again been named one of the most sought-after career destinations for the world's millennials. According to the latest survey by the World Economic Forum, the UAE and China are the most preferred emerging market countries among young people who would like to live abroad to advance their careers. For the second year in a row, the two countries both rank as the most preferred emerging market countries in 12th and 11th place respectively, ahead of the Scandinavian countries, BRICS countries and Singapore. The US, UK and Canada led the list. A survey organized by the Global Shapers team of the World Economic Forum asked some 20,000 millennials aged 18 to 35 about a range of issues concerning business, the economy, politics, technology and values. Respondents from 187 countries and territories took part in the survey with most coming from China, the United States and India. According to the report's authors, one reason for the UAE's strong performance may be the better uh, than average prospects to land a job, with 34% of millennials globally identified the lack of economic opportunity and employment as one of the three most serious issues affecting their country, making it the biggest issue of concern after corruption. Only one in ten of the UAE respondents said they see unemployment as a serious issue. The findings also showed that globally more millennials value salary at 54% and career advancement at 46% over a sense of purpose and impact on society 
rating 37% in their job. A sense of purpose prevails as a top priority among Western millennials from the United States, the UK, Germany and France. But in the largest emerging economies, including China and India, salary and career advancement remain the most important job criteria. As a whole, the Middle East and North Africa respondents were among the most optimistic about the future impact of technology on jobs. Young people in the MENA region also said they see the presence of a startup ecosystem and entrepreneurship as most important for youth empowerment. As the franchising industry in the MENA region is a $30 billion franchise economy with the UAE alone commanding $18 billion of this sector, experts in the industry discuss the latest trends in franchising worldwide while also encouraging local brands and entrepreneurs to franchise their businesses abroad. While ta taking a tour of the first edition of the Global Franchise Market Exhibition, his Excellency Sami Al Khamzi, the Director General of Dubai Department of Economic Development (DED), and other senior officials explored the latest local and international brands from many key sectors, including food and beverage, retail, and real estate. As the F&B sector in the MENA and the UAE is booming, which is expected to grow at 7.4% over the next four years, and about 19,000 new F&B outlets are expected in the UAE by 2019, DED officials highlighted that franchisee businesses have, relate, have greatly contributed to the strength and diversity of the UAE economy and Dubai in particular counts franchising as a key enabler of investment attraction, entrepreneurship and economic development. While stating that franchising is a key source of new business opportunities, officials also stress that as most GCC economies are diversifying their income sources away from oil, this is the right time for exploring franchising opportunities in the region. First of all, local concept, today the, we, we shifted the, uh, the approach of franchise. People know franchise is when you buy a franchise from international uh, you know, countries and bring it on board. Our job is basically to build the local homegrown concepts, build a proper successful franchise program, and then help them to go international. That's one of the things that we do. Now, uh, the trend is there. I mean, as you can see, look at the, uh, the uh, growing uh, sector in, in franchising. We're talking about $30 billion sector in the Middle East and they, uh, actually in the MENA. So this proves the fact that, you know, the sectors, are, the diversification in the sectors is going towards franchising. And this is um, a major uh, part uh, of the expansion. We need to, to evaluate the uh, candidate. Many parties are showing interest and have already approached us. Um, however, some uh, uh, fundamentals have to be there. We cannot just, um, you know, join hands with anybody. Uh, uh, there should be um, some kind of a financial uh, foundation uh, available. Uh, um, the good thing about this concept, though, is that um, an FMB experience is not is not really required because of the simplicity of the concept. Um, and then we need to look at the uh, country where the uh, potential franchisee would like to um, uh, develop the brand, uh, see what kind of. Uh, what kind of place that is, in which form the brand can be developed. This is a brand that can go as a trailer, uh, as what you see behind me, or can also be developed as a kiosk or, or as a food counter. So according to the, um, you know, to, to, to the country of operation and to the, also the capabilities of the franchisee, we will um, ultimately define what is the best route to take. On the sidelines of the exhibition and conference, Dubai SME and Aswag have signed a memorandum of understanding to support local startups, under which entrepreneurs registered with Dubai SME will be allowed to operate franchise retail outlets under the brand name Aswag Mart. The initiative is aimed at promoting entrepreneurship and providing investment opportunities for entrepreneurs in the UAE, enabling them to contribute to the development of the national economy. Basically, the uh, entrepreneurs who are registered within the uh, Mohammed Al Rashid establishment, Dubai SME. Uh, basically, there uh, there are not no much uh, not much of them are uh, are into the uh, retail uh, and uh, into the supermarket activities. So this 
ام او يو اور بارتنرشيب وذ اسواق ويل انكرج يانج اماراتيز تو انتر انتو ذا انتو انتو جيتنج ا فرانشايز او اوبتينينج ا فرانشايز فروم اسواق اند ستارتينج ذير اون بزنسز وي بروفايد فروم اور اند Uh, the opportunity of training and understanding the retail business, especially in the food retail business. And from the SME side, they will be uh, giving us a short list of people, starting off with UAE nationals uh, to be entrepreneurs for this venture. But in the future, we hope in the 2018, we'll start it off and open it up to everybody that's residing within the UAE or around the world. Our concept is supposed to be within the UAE for the next two years and then after that to spread out into GCC, Jordan and Egypt.